In the city streets and open air From coffee shops to late night bars To shine and bright like trendy stars High and tight and loose and free It's a style for all to see Man buns rising up so high Reaching up into the sky what the hell is a man bun? I just saw Floyd do a man bun haircut on Chester Jones. We ain't got no man buns in Maybury. Hey everyone, I'm Steve and today we're going to cover the top 10 cities in America where it is most likely that the men will be sporting the amazing man bun. Now I had to do some research on this one. There really isn't a secret database out there showing this information. So what I did is I based my research on cultural trends and demographic patterns. From that, I came up with the most likely cities where you might find a higher concentration of men wearing man buns. This top 10 list highlights cities with a strong hipster culture, artistic communities, and emphasis on non-traditional lifestyles. Okay, let's get to it. Number 10 on the list, Asheville, North Carolina, my home state. Asheville, what a beautiful city. We love going there. I wouldn't want to live there, but they have a very strong creative community, very artsy fartsy. And uh, if you have an alternative lifestyle, Asheville is for you. I say good for this older guy, man bun, torn jeans in an Asheville brewery. Good for him. He is recapturing his youth. Coming in at number nine, Minneapolis. Minneapolis is another strong arts community. They have a progressive urban type culture and they have a large young professional population. So this dude is owning it at the farmer's market. To me, he looks a little bit top heavy. However, you know, if you had to reach down and pick up a dollar bill, you gotta be careful, brace yourself. Coming in at number eight, Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville is a growing music and art scene. The young professionals are heavily populated here and the fashion culture is very important. The Nashville man bun scene is awesome. They're in a Nashville music bar having a great time. Who wouldn't want to party with this group? Number seven, Denver, Colorado. The ultimate outdoor lifestyle culture. There's a huge population of young people drawn to Denver and the Rockies. If you are a creative, this is one of the places you want to live. Not hard to find weird in Denver. I think this guy may be attracted more to the food culture though. Number six, Los Angeles. The heart of the entertainment industry. However, I think they're starting to lose a grip on that. If you enjoy traffic, this is where you want to move to. This LA dude right here, he is Steve McQueen cool, except with less testosterone. Number five, Austin, Texas. They are known for their city motto, Keep Austin Weird. They have a very large music and art scene, and once again, the common factor, they have a young, progressive population. Common scene in an Austin bar. He's got pink hair, green hair, and blue hair ladies to choose from. He's having a hard time making a decision. I say whichever hot girl has a nose ring is the winner. Number four, Brooklyn, New York. They say that Brooklyn is actually the epicenter of hipster culture. In Brooklyn, entire neighborhoods can actually set their own new trends. This guy actually has a magical man bun. Watch what happens when he turns around. A backpack magically appears. Gosh! Number three, San Francisco. A progressive, very progressive culture. Tech giants live here. West Coast fashion capital. A classic man bun with beard. It's got a man bag, but check out the skinny jeans and shoes. This is what makes this guy. Number two, Seattle. Tech, 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 and arts, arts, arts. If you want alternative fashion, you go to Seattle. Yep, you guessed it, a huge young professional population. This is a classic. Good looking guy, taking a selfie, got plenty of bracelets. When he giggles, he holds his hand over his mouth. Absolute spot on. Whew, we are at number one, Portland, Oregon. 
hipsters and more hipsters and more hipsters. A very strong alternative fashion scene. And once again, you want your alternative lifestyle? You go to Portland. My absolute favorite dude wearing the man bun. He looks like a Viking. He's got his arm tats. He owns it. He looks like he owns the street in Portland. Well, that's it for today, folks. The sheer power of the amazing man bun is just simply breathtaking. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Steve, and I'll catch you in the next video.